place will be blessed by our thumb amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, God of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed be thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, God of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Trinity, one God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, Holy Mother of God, Dan Dow was my name, at the age of 77. I was only 24 years of age when I moved into St. Grimm's house, and this was the only house that was idle, and I got it lucky enough. But this was the finest terrace that ever a man lived in, or anyone could live in. The neighbours were something out of this world, said them. You were never short. If I hadn't it today, the next door neighbour had it. They were never hungry in this terrace. There was never a door locked in it. When I was growing up, Grinnells was hard. It wasn't easy. Do you know what I mean? When you come up in Grinnells, you come up in a hard spot. Sep, if I had to go back again, or to be teenager years and things like that, I'd still love to come from Grinnells. two grandchildren now and I have eleven great grandchildren and three more is coming. And I was evicted out of it once where I wanted repairs and wouldn't pay my rent. So I was evicted for a thousand. So all the neighbours and the terrorists brought me back. So I paid my thousand pounds and came back. There were hard times, but there were happy times. And everybody made sure everybody else, you know, if you were stuck idling across the like I often see my mother and father if they're stuck for a pint of milk or a drop of milk in the morning, they'd ask next door, knock on the next door, and you always got your drop of milk and your granny sugar, if you're stuck for a granny sugar in the morning to make a cup of tea, or a pinch of tea, whatever. That was all it was done. There were hard times. I remember my wife, Laura Tamara, so I lost my wife now, she'd be two years dead this Christmas. And she was a lovely woman. Everyone loved her in the terrace, like, you know. But she was sick many a time. And everyone used to call in and out to her, even when she was sick, like, you know what I mean? Everyone would be there for you, you know, and that was the main thing. And that's, that's the main thing that should, you know what I mean? There's a lot of that gone today now, in a lot of places, you know what I mean? You know, caring about people and this and that. As I do say, like, you know what I mean? Everyone has arguments and this and that. Have an argument up, up in St. Grillins, could be two fellas, two women or what, but next day, they're back together again. So they are. 
you know, never hold grudges or anything. You know, that's one, one thing I can say about St. Quinn's Terrace. You know, they never ignore you. The foundation is ready for the young kids that's coming up today. They're learning from the people what's mm -hmm. called the foundation at the present moment. That's the likes of yourself, mm -hmm. the likes of the committee. The foundation at the present day is going to learn the kids what's coming up. And there'll be kids coming up well after you, well after you, and they'll be taking your places. And to make them more better, they could be trying to be a lot better than you are in the, in the ways that, the, that they'll have. Maybe a lot better. Because the committee at the present day, at the present day, in the near future, they'll be trying to do something very, very good. And something will go down here through the years. And then the, the people that's coming up behind will try to make bet, do better again. To say that we're doing better. Mm -hmm. It's going to make it's going to make the place more, what would you call it? I can't pronounce it. It's going to make the place more more better. Mm. To be finding to be to be trying to get better things for the kids yeah, to be coming suppose up. the kids would have a better education now in the worry, you know. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, there might be more, there's more facilities yeah. for them there. Yeah. But I wouldn't give them up. I have walked out the door many times with the kids. Yeah. But when you see this, the, the, the tear in some of the children's eyes, when you say, I'm not coming back, that's me finished. You couldn't turn your back on them, no. When you see them going on stage, you see the energy they use, the energy they put into stuff. It gives them confidence. And it gives them an open for, to build up their creativity and their imagination, which I think is very important. More than it's their imagination and their creativity, really. Well, if you go looking for a job or anything, they, if, you, if they ask you where you're from, you say St. Grillins, well, you're turned down. At that time, it was very hard. At that time, it was very, very hard. Do you know what I mean? Especially the background that you came from. Do you know what I mean? It was like saying everybody <laughs> was kind of people that could an awful lot of our people down because we came from the hill. We came from a place called, called the hill and things like that. Going back, like, if you were from St. Grillins, like, you know what I mean? And we say, you go look for a job, like, you know what I mean? I often heard the boys saying it, like, you know, right, they'll say, they'll give you a form to fill out, like, you know, and tell you to call back in such a time, you know, and this and that, like, you know. But there was no such thing as call back, like, you know what I mean? Grillins, for some strange reason, seemed to develop a bad name in the 50s and never lost it. And it was always more difficult to get employment out there, although I didn't have it, because I might be one of the lucky ones that I was in employment all my life. But I do know from living here that, that other children did experience the difficulty of, they wouldn't get into shops as an assistant or anything like that, not up until the last five years anyway.
we're looking forward to them. The new house is like, you know what I mean? I can't wait for my life to see it. God is good, like, you know what I mean? But we'll have comfort, like, and it's great for the children, like, you know, bringing up young kids now today, like, you know what I mean? I mean, to say these, like, it was great now, these houses, like, you know, you'd hate to see them going and all like that. Like, there was, you know, great memories, like. But when I do go, I'm going to take a piece of it, anyways, and bring it with me. Grelins, as we know it, is dying in one sense, or it's, it's revert. They're going to build new, all new houses here now. And we're going to have a whole new St. Gerrans come the year 2001 or no later than 2002. And there's no doubt there'll be a better quality of homes for, for the new generation of people that will come on. But it is sad for me to see them coming down because there were huge big families reared in, in these houses, you know. And I, I think we, it deserves better than it got. Let's put it that way to you. But and in saying I, I feel sorry for it in one sense, glad in another, that I do know that the next generation of families who will be coming in here, at least they'll be coming into good homes and good houses. And hopefully it'll be, it'll be a lot better for them. Okay. Hello. 